said, well, I don't know. It just came out. Uh, they called me in the office one day. And uh, I was about to leave, I think. And that was, what, what's his name, got hurt? Uh, Magnum T.A.? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was going to be him? I think so. Yeah. And, uh, and I think the one that really pushed it was probably Crockett and, and Flair. You know, well, Flair and I, we had some great matches. I mean, and I know he liked to work with me. I don't know if he liked me as a person, but, you know. I haven't uh, heard him say anything bad about I, you. I, I think he, he, and I'll tell you what, he never complained. And I hit him so hard that his chest was bleeding. He's got scars from it, I guarantee. Yeah, I was split like five, six, seven different places. And uh, we were making money. And he, he, he whacked me too, but, you know. And uh, he never complained, never. Never, 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 never said, oh, man. And even when he was hurt, when, when that, when that, just kept pounding on him. How much advance notice did they give you that you were going to win the, the title because it was pretty prestigious at that time? Nobody knew except me, myself, Crockett, Dusty. That's pretty much it. They didn't know even the night it happened. Yeah, I heard about that for a long time. The Rock and Roll Express and all the other guys used to travel. We traveled together a lot. Why didn't you tell us? Crockett just said, nobody leaves tonight. So they didn't know why. They didn't think if it was going to be a fight outside the ring. And then kept it a secret. Nobody knew. Nobody. Were you uh, pretty honored to have, have that title reign because it was so prestigious at that time still? No, I was just honored to have my paycheck. The business to me didn't mean trophies and shit. It was a job. I looked at it as a job. I, I don't know. Some guys looked at it maybe as something else, but I, I strictly looked at it as a job. I, you know, there was promoters in the old days when I started, I remember. <laughs> and I saw it quite a few times. There was a good worker, but they just put a belt on him and didn't pay him. And the guy would stay. Well, they paid him, but they should have paid him uh, double what he was making. But the belt... He was happy to be champion, so he stayed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a belt, it's a trinket. Yeah. You know, and yeah, well, it was okay, but I didn't want to do. It. Nobody wanted that job. That's why Flair had it. That's another myth about Pete. He, he had it for all those years, because he was the only one that was willing to be on the road all year long and partying and having a good time, which is fine. That's his life. But how many guys want to do that? Yeah, exactly. I know I wouldn't have done it. I, I, I didn't want to have, you know. They had a hard time at times in the business with having the world standard, especially when it was only, uh, when uh, years and years ago, I remember the guy was traveling all over the country. It was a hard job. Didn't Terry Funk ask to lose it because he was... I heard that too. I don't know. There. I heard that because it's just, I know I wouldn't have liked it. I had it for two months, I think. 